In this video, we're going to be setting up a way for the employers to confirm their email. So what the way we have it set up right now is when the employer creates a new account, from within our controller, we send out an email. And then when the employer gets the email to confirm their email, uh, within this email is going to be a link. They click on this link, it's going to send them back to our Angular application. And here is where we're going to um, actually confirm their email. And, and in this video, we're going to be setting up the component for that. So the first thing we'll do is we'll create a brand new component and uh, we'll set up the route for that. We'll test it, make sure that's working. And we'll set up a real simple view. I'm just gonna copy and paste that right out of Bootstrap. Uh, save us a little bit of time. And after we knock these three out, we'll, we'll come back to these two later on and knock them out. Uh, right now, we'll just focus on these three things. There's a lot of different moving parts here. So I just wanna uh, take it piece by piece. So down in the description, you'll find these two links and that will be the pages that we'll be referencing later on. Uh, let's go and uh, do a dry run real quick. What we'll do is we'll create a brand new account and we'll check our email and we'll check out the link and see all the different things we need to do. So I'll just create an account called Mike. Oh, and by the way, I went and emptied out the database. I just cleared out all the users. So we'll start off from, from, from scratch again. So uh, go back to here. And I'll create an account called Mike, and then the email's oop developers. Now you want to put in a valid email, uh, your actual email, and a password one two three four, and hit send. That should create as a new account. Okay, so there's our new account. And if we go to the database, just double check this, refresh it, and then uh, as you can see right here, the email confirmed is set to false, and that's going to change by the end of the vid video. That's the whole entire goal is to set that to true. Uh, so if we go back to here and then um, click on our email and now we got a brand new email, click on this. And then right here, the, what we're trying to do is get the token and the user ID out of this the params later on. And we're going to send that to another API we already created. And I have that open up in Postman. And we're going to be sending that information to our uh, confirm email. And that's how we're going to actually set this to true. So like I said, there's a lot of different moving parts and we'll get to that later. But if we go back to our email again, right here, if you notice, this is test.com. And if you're wondering uh, how is that being set? Well, we set that in our last video uh, inside the service and that is just temporary. Once we create our route, we're going to change that and this is going to change. So let's actually go back and check that out real quick. So if we go into our service, we're actually setting that right here. And we're going to change that when we create our route. And then we send that in through the headers. Then we attach our token and our user ID. And then we send that to the through the email. And that's what you're seeing in the email right now. Uh, but we'll, we'll come back to this in a second and change that. Let's close this back down. So if we go back to here, the first thing we'll do is we'll generate our component. Let's knock that out real quick. Open up the uh, command line. Let's open up a brand new window. Uh, so I'll... I'll create a new window, navigate into your, your Angular application. So CD, CI. Okay, and then we'll generate a new component. And I'm gonna put this inside of the auth folder with the rest of our auth uh, components as, and within a folder called components. So auth, and I'll call it confirm. Okay, so there's our brand new component. So if we open this up, uh, let's set up the route for this real quick and we'll test that. So to do that, that's real simple. Just open up your auth routing. Now close this down. And later on, actually, we're going to change this up a little bit. But for now, I'll just copy and paste and make sure I add this. And then this I'll call confirm email. Email. And then let's go into our component. Copy and paste so I don't spell it wrong. And go back in here, paste it in there, make sure you pull it in. Okay, that's all we need to do there. Save this. And let's test this, make sure our route is working before we move on to the next step. So copy this. And then if we go back to uh, the browser and paste this in here. And that is working, so that's good. So um, now let's copy this and we'll go back into that service we were just working in. So uh, let's going here and we were working in this in the last video now we could change this over and then make sure you add this onto the end so that should actually um, 
give us back a valid URL now. So if we save this and let's create a brand new account, make sure this part is working, this piece of it is working. If we go back here and open up the database, go into the database, delete this record, make sure you hit write changes and then go back to here. We'll create a brand spanking new account. So go to register, same account. I'll just enter in, in the same information. Okay. And that should create us another new account. And then we should get another email if we go here. And here's our brand new email. And then now when we click on this, if you, if you notice it's localhost 4200 now. So that should send us to our Angular application. So let's click on this. Great, it's working. So that is actually sending us back to a our Angular application. So that's that part is working. Now let's go and set up our view now. If we check out our checklist. So we did this. We generated our component. We set up our route. Now we're ready to start working on our view. And we're not going to spend too much time on this. I'm just going to copy and paste mainly. So if we go back to here, open up Bootstrap. And then I'm thinking just using this. So when they successfully confirm their email, we'll use this alert box here. And if they failed, I'll just use like the yellow one and we'll have a message for that. Now you could uh, add on to this, maybe have a button where they click on it. And let's say it failed to confirm their email. Like maybe you could have a button where I send them to a register page or something like that. But for now I'm keeping it real basic and simple. So I'm just going to copy and paste these top two right here. And let's go back here. And let's knock out our view. I'll close all these down. This and this and open up the HTML and I'll paste that, replace this. Also, while we're here, let's open up our login and I'm going to copy this right here. This will just give it a, a width and then also bump it off the side a little bit. That look a little nicer, I think. So just go back here and I should have actually added this in first. And throw that in there, make sure I close it up right. Okay, and then if I save it, it's gonna format it for me. And then this is gonna be confirmation page or email confirmation page. Page, and then here I could just um cut this out. So cut this out and I paste it, save it so it formats it for me. And then change this to like email confirmed confirmed and then here uh, unable to confirm email okay real basic and simple uh, if we save this now and we go back here that should automatically refresh and great that looks really nice I'm gonna change this to warning and then also we're gonna have it where we toggle these off and on uh, let's just change that uh, HTML so this part will be done. So we'll just go change this to warning. Okay, so uh, let's save this and go back here. Okay, that looks great. Uh, now what we'll do is we'll have it where we could toggle these. So we'll go into our component and um, uh, set a variable for that. And that's really uh, easy. We could use an Angular directive called ngif if we go back here. And we'll set up the variable first thing. So let's go inside the email, uh, confirm email component. Then right at the top here, we'll set a variable. It's going to be a Boolean. And I'll, you can call it anything you want. I'll call it like email confirmed. And it would be a type of Boolean. Boolean. And I'll set the default to uh, true for now. We'll come back in a second and change that to false. So actually true. And now we could use this. So copy this, save this, and we'll go back in here. And now we're going to use a directive Angular gives us, and it's called ngif. So a ngif tab, and just paste that in there. So if it's true, show this. If it's not true, uh, show this instead. And we'll toggle that later uh, when we actually send in our API. And I'll show you that in a second. Uh, let's copy this and just paste that in there. And then just set not right in front of it. All right, testing again, save it. It formats it for us and then go back in here. So now we have it set to true. If we go back to the component, set this to false, save it again. And we go back here and now change. That's really good. 
Okay, so now we're ready to move on to the next stage. And if we go back to our checklist, so we got these three done. Now we need to go and get the token and the user ID out of the params. If we go back here, now we need to figure out a way to get our token and our uh, user ID right here from the parameters. So we'll work on that next. And how to do that, if we go here, they have documentation on how to do that. And we're gonna use uh, this within our ng on it to get the token. We'll replace that with token and user ID. Uh, this is perfect. And then also, if we go up a little bit, they show you how to set this up. We're gonna be using the what's called the active rel in Angular. And we'll pull it into the top. Actually, I could copy this. And then um, we'll pull it in our constructor of our component. It shows you right here how to do that. And then down here, we'll use this within our ng on it to get the params out of the URL. Uh, let's take care of uh, setting it up right now. So I already copied it. I'll go back to our component. And then within the email, uh, the confirm email component, we'll just paste this right at the top. We're not going to need the router in this case. We get rid of this and get rid of this. And then we want to set it within our constructor. I'll just copy and paste. I'm a big fan of copying and pasting. And copy this. Go back to here. We'll set that with, up within our constructor. Okay. So now we have access to the active route. And then when you have access to that, then you can do this. You can uh, get the uh, route by, you get the parameters out of the route. And we're going to do this a little different as well. So um, let's do this, like what they're doing is setting a variable here. I want to set it to an object instead. And we'll, I'll show you that in a second. Let's just copy the whole thing. Go back in here and paste and paste. And you could do it this way, like, you know, have it, uh, if we change this to token and user ID. But I prefer to do it a little different. I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna add an object right up here. It'll be called URL params. And then uh, this would be type of any, and then as, as a default, it's gonna be a empty object like that. Okay, perfect. So uh, now instead of doing this, what we'll do is we'll say this URL URL params dot token equals this. And uh, the name is going to be token. And then this one's going to be this URL user ID. User ID. And this will be copy and paste user ID. Now they have multiple different uh, methods here, or actually properties. What I'm going to use is query param map, and um, I'm going to replace that. So dot query param map. That's the one I want to use. Copy and paste. Okay, so we should be able to get the parameters out of that URL when this page is hit. And the, let's test that before we actually start working in our service. So to test that, we'll create a brand new method and call this whatever you want. I'll call it confirm email. And then here we'll just log um, the information for now just to test it. So we'll log this. So console log. So this URL params. Okay. And then we want to make sure we actually call this method. And to do that, we could do that from right here. So this confirm email. Okay, that should work. So if we save this, and we'll just do a quick test on this, and then we'll actually be calling our service in a second from here. So let's go back here. And we will go back in here. What page is that? Right here. So let's uh, um, refresh this, and this should send in all this information, and also let's open up the console. And we should see all our information right here. Oh, it automatically refreshed. Okay, that's right. I, I have it running already. So, so as you can see right here, our information's right there, the token and the user ID. And if you remember our API, if we go open up Postman, that is exactly what we need to send into our API. And we'll actually be setting that up in the service. So let's open up our checklist now. 
So now we're able to get those parameters from the URL. Now we need to set up our service. So we'll create a brand new method in our service, and then we'll go back into our component and we'll call that service and we'll be done. Uh, let's open up our service. This is going to be really simple. All we're going to need to do is um, one line of code. That's pretty much it. So if we go back to our service, actually a couple lines of the code and open up our service. There it is. Okay, so let's create a brand new method. You can call this anything as well. So I'll call it confirm email. And then this is going to take in the model. And then all we'll do is we'll return an observable. And it's going to be this.http.post. And then we're calling this. And what we're calling is the auth controller. So this auth's URL. And then the name of the API that's going to be handling this. If we go back to Postman, and that is this right here. So I'll just copy, so I don't spell it wrong. So copy that and go back to here and paste that in there. And then what do we want to pass in as a second parameter is our model. Okay. And that's really all we really need to do in here. So now we can call this method from within our service. So like we did before, we'll need to inject our service into it. So what I'll do is just copy uh, our service name. Just copy this, go into our component and then we'll inject it like we did in a prior video service and then just paste that in there and then make sure you pull it in okay and then now we need to call that so like we we did before we'll subscribe to it so um just uh, get rid of this now and we'll say this auth service dot in our new email uh confirm email method and then we'll pass in the model, or it's actually this.url params. There it is. And we'll subscribe to us, so subscribe. And then uh, anonymous function. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we'll console log it for now. So we'll change that later on down the road. So console log, and then we'll just say success. We actually don't really need to do that. The thing is, is because we're going to be setting this to true. So we'll know that way, but just log it out uh, for now. We'll get rid of it later. And then also we want to set this email confirm and we'll set this to true. True. And then if there's an error or something goes wrong, we'll handle that as well. So error. And We'll say console log error. I'll just, I'll pass in the variable. And then also uh, we'll, we'll set this email. Actually, we don't even need to set it, but I'll set it anyways, because it is all automatically false as default, but I'll, I'll set it as false just to be safe. Okay, and that is it. That's all we really need to do. So let's open this up in the uh, browser and check it out again. So if we go back here, or actually just refresh it, and it automatically refreshes automatically every time you do a save. And as you can see, it says uh, email confirmed. And if you look down here, we got the success, so that's great. Uh, let's check one more thing to make sure that th this was successful. Let's check the database. So we go back here, and let's re refresh this. And then here our email is confirmed. So that is great. Everything is working. And that is how you confirm your email. So now in the next uh, video, we're going to set up a way for the user to change their password. And we already have the view and the component created for that. If we go back to here, or uh, actually we go here. So we already have that page created. So we'll be finishing that off in the next video. So I'll see you then.